Hello Internet. Um, in my last uh, video, I showed you how to uh, author a page in Adobe Experience Manager. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make everything pretty, add properties to that page, um, test for different um, uh, viewports uh, or different devices, and um, uh, any nuances you know that comes with authoring a page. So let's log in uh, into our AEM experience instance and uh, let's go directly to the page here. Um, don't show this again. Okay, close. Um, we can go to uh, our page where we created it. Uh, let's see, we probably did that in the US men. Uh, that's our test page there. No, oh, let's just give it a minute there. It's just a random page. Uh, the first thing is, if you're authoring this page and you're probably trying to do a few things like hiding and show things, I'll show you that in my next video. But now, let's just focus on the basic. You know, you can look at your desktop there. You can try to see a rough idea how it's going to look on your iPad. The best thing is just to test in a browser. But for the time being, this is how you author and you can change a few things on uh, you know if your your component has uh, the viewport set you can be able to adjust that one and of course you can just kind of have an idea how this is going to render on a mobile um, and uh, you know these mobiles are quite you can see that that's iPhone uh, 6 a plus you know it goes all the way plus is there and uh, the galaxy is there and of course ipad and there's two uh, ipad versions but at least you should be able to see it from there now this is an easy way when you're authoring because then you can be able to make changes there you know you can decide i'm just gonna add this here and i'm gonna hide this and uh, there's a way to do that in aem where you can hide and show things but for the sake of this, you can check that. Then you can come here if you're trying to add properties to this page. And uh, again, I showed you a little bit of that, but you can come here. You're trying to make changes. You're trying to add advanced uh, details there. You can do that. Uh, it's trying to set a vanity URL because you're trying to build this as a landing page. AEM allows you to do that on this section of the page. Um, and of course uh, what else can I uh, if you're trying to connect um, an experience fragment you know which is an experience fragment is just another component if you're trying to use that then you should be able to add one there um, and once you have that then you can go ahead and view as published and if you are convinced that you're page you know is the way you want it then you can go ahead and publish your page and once you publish your page basically you should be able to go to your published instance and uh, you can look at it once more from your published instance and once uh, now it just depends on how your AEM is configured you know uh, with your uh, in, within your organization you know some in some instances in the author instance, you know, you don't have to publish, you know, you can roll out and automatically that connects and it's replicated in the production. And once in production, then you can push to live and basically that goes through the dispatcher and, um, you know, and uh, then it goes into the other layer, which is the end user layer. All right. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, that kind of clarifies some of the things that you can do within AEM as far as authoring is concerned. Properties, layout. Um, again layouts here you can test different and um, properties you can add all the information you need you can start workflow and that's very important I think if you if you if you are trying to send this to your manager who is going to approve uh, uh, look at it and approve before publishing then you can click on there and you know there's a workflow there and it goes to wherever uh, this workflow is configured to go to um, the other, of, of course, things that you need is you can publish and unpublish. And publishing a page is basically removing it from being live. And uh, 
uh, for the most part, you don't want to use this, this if you are working on an authoring uh, instance. Uh, but there's publish page here, um, and that can be configured to be pushing it to uh, a production instance. And then uh, we'll talk about edit template when we talk about editable templates. Uh, uh, view as published. This is the most important thing that we want to use now because then you can be able to test using your browser tools and this is very important. So there you can see that you're using a responsive but probably you're trying you know you're trying to be more specific see how this is going to look on an iPad uh, and an iPad Pro because that's very common and then of course uh, you can look at this one because it kind of covers most of the viewports. Uh, uh, the rest of this stuff is probably very fringe people are using them but uh, also so there's more impact on these devices there are the iPhone devices Galaxy and then of course um, you know the responsive mode uh, for the most part you know if that looks good then you can send this to your marketing or wherever it is that you're working for well um, let's go to the next again this is a series of uh, lectures in authoring in AEM, administering in AEM, and um, developing in AEM. And uh, if you are learning something, um, show some love, you know, just click uh, subscribe or just share around, um, you know. And uh, if you think we should explain something more, uh, please feel free to uh, leave us a comment. We'll do that. Thanks.